What's the crack lads? What is going on? And welcome back to another training guide slash review slash breakdown of the partner clubs. So you will be getting four of these and then you can play the event and get another two of these to I think have a total of six. We've got our four here that we haven't spun for yet. So this is in my Road to Glory account. So any player that we get here in my Road to Glory account is going to be a benefit to me. It's going to be a player that I probably will be able to use and need. And we're going to talk about kind of changes to the players coming in a future video. We do discuss a lot of stuff on live stream. So it's just putting it into a more concise video for people that don't have, you know, um, that don't have, that don't have, I suppose, haven't been playing the game for that long, right? Um, it is a lot of newcomer information that don't have that, that knowledge of what cards to really use, right? So we try to break the cards down the best possible way. Yes, there is different versions of these cards. Yes, the GP versions of these cards are, are, are very solid as well. And yes, you can get better cards than these. But look, they're free spins. We're going to actually spin here and we're going to take a look at a couple of them. But before we do that, I'm going to focus on a couple of the guys um, that we don't really need to train up that much, I suppose, if we do get them. I do think there are better options unless you are literally starting from scratch and you have nobody else in your squad, right? So the first player that we're going to look at here is Barcelona's Destroyer Romeo. So this guy is a DMF. He's a destroyer. He's got man marking and interception, but his, his player skills and his stats are kind of weak compared to other players. And I'll show you what I mean here when we max him out on eFootballDB. So we're over on eFootballDB.com, and I'll leave a link in the description for this if you want to have a look at it. But this is all the cards, and we're able to simulate what the cards will train up to be, right? So we've essentially put 17 into defending here. Yes, it's probably a bit too much. 3 into lower body and 7 into aerial strength. And yes, you do have 97 aggression with 99 defensive engagement. It's probably a little bit too saucy, lads. You could probably go to 14 into that and then probably put the rest in. But the biggest problem with this card is because he's not an anchorman and because he is missing a couple of key player skills here, it is a bit of a project. It's a bit of a training guide with him that you need to be able to invest a bit of time into him and do legacy transfer or else get the player skills by a bit of luck, okay? Um, you know, he's able to pass the ball more so than most other players in that position. His form is on B this week as well, which isn't too bad. But if you want to up his up his pace or anything, you're not going to get the dexterity up. You know, it's not a bad card. Look, it's not a bad card. It does go to a 90 overall. You can increase that if you go with the passing or whatever you want to go. Um, defensively, he's very solid. But I find with Ramel, he's he's just a little bit clunky. He's a little bit kind of all over the place, so to speak, right? So if you do get him, he's not a bad pull to get. Watch me get him now when I spin for mine. Um, but he's definitely not one of the picks of the pack, right? We also have Juan Basaka. So a lot of people like Basaka. They know that he's a very dominant um, right back that can also kind of push forward a little bit. He's got blistering speed, which is 85 at level one, which is quite, you know, quite decent, right? Um, and he also has a very nice selection of player skills. You see there. So he's got uh, blocker interception, fighting spirit, double touch, as well as man marking, cut behind and turn and chop turn. Very, very, very slick right back. If I get wan I'm probably going to use this card as my main right back on my road to glory, right? And I'll tell you why. Because when you actually are looking at defensive fullbacks, you usually have to go really, really heavy with the defense. But I think 10 into defending for wan is pretty decent. You know, you can still go to 85 at ease with the acceleration. You can go to 90 with the speed. That'll bring his stamina up. And then the aerial strength, which is usually where a lot of right backs kind of fall down goes to 75, right? He's not that short. He's still fairly tall for a right back. He can only play right back. He can't move into a right wing position. But it's the player skills and the, and the, and the other stuff that you're going to want with him. He is basically a centre back masquerading as a right back in terms of the stats and his player skills, right? So I do definitely recommend him. He's one of my top picks if you do end up spinning him. You can even go, you know, to the 98 zone here or the 97 zone with the tackling there. And throw the rest into dexterity if you want to get that acceleration up to 88. That is an extraordinarily good card that I think a lot of people would be very comfortable using, right? So definitely wan gets a massive thumbs up from me, especially as he's a United man as well. Um, we also have Balde. So everything I just said about Basaka, apart from having no defensive skills, uh, uh, Balde is an attacking option. But everything I just said about wan is kind of relatable to Balde, except for an attacking left-back point of view, right? So wan is a defensive option. Um, Balde is going to be your defensive, or the other way around. 
Balde is going to be your offensive weaponry from left back. Like Roberto Carlos, if you don't have Carlos, Balde is an extraordinarily good card to have as backup there. So they're kind of two sides of the same coin, really. Like Balde is attacking, Wambasak is defensive. You can see there that even though he does have 83 tackling, you're going to have 95 speed, 90 acceleration, and brilliant ball control and dribbling for a left back, right? Um, a very good card as well. I do recommend him. This is a good selection, lads. It's, it's a fairly decent selection, right? We also have Tell. So I'm going to actually throw in Tell and um, Lewandowski together because even though they're both center halves, they do kind of have similar styles, right? Similar plays um, of how you'll set up, right? Obviously, Tell is going to be really, really, really quick, but they're both goal poachers as far as I can tell. Lewandowski is a goal poacher as well, so his AI will move differently, but I think you have to use Lewandowski as a target man, right? Even though he's down as a goal poacher, he's got excellent player skills. He goes to a level 25. Finishing is going to be brilliant. His, his speed and acceleration are going to be quite poor. So if you do get Lewandowski, you know what you're getting. It's just a turn and shoot. Don't be dribbling with him. Just be kind of finishing, pressing the shoot button as soon as you get the ball at his feet. Tell is kind of a, a different type of player, even though he's a goal poacher and we've thrown him in together, right? They're very different players how they handle. You can actually run a bit with Tell. Um... He's got brilliant player skills, super sub, first time shot, puts him into an upper tier um, and kind of like an end game kind of super sub style player, right? Double touch, soul control, scissors faint, he's got the works long range shooting, stunning shots are ridiculously OP now at the moment. 80 speed, 80 acceleration is ridiculous as well and he trains up very decent. So I would say if you are struggling with tell lads, try this build. 9 into shooting, 8 into dribbling, 11 into dexterity and 6 into lower body. You can actually change that if you are bringing him on as a super sub, which I would recommend. I would probably go 83 with the speed or maybe 84 and then pop one more into dexterity and then you can just pop one into passing or aerial strength depending on what tickles your fancy. But that is a really good super sub to have at your disposal and you can kind of train him in multiple ways. But that is, I think, the best build for him at the moment because of his balance. His lack of physical contact is an issue unless you have high balance, right? So just keep that in mind as well. Um, I'll show you the build there. So that is the build there, very quickly. I'm trying to get through this video, but it's taken a bit of time. We also have an Onana, right? So Onana and Ter Stegen, again, you've got two goalkeepers. Straight off the rip, you've got reflexes there, and you've also got low punt, long throw. With Ter Stegen, you've got reflexes that are the high point. You've also got low punt and long throw with high punt. So Ter Stegen is the pick of the pack here for the goalkeepers. Onana is a bit of a crazy guy, lads. He sometimes he comes out like Manuel Neuer. Ter Stegen is one of the best keepers in eFootball 2024 since the last update, okay? Muller is probably the player that I haven't used that much, and I've been sleeping on Muller for quite a while. I always keep saying that I'm going to give him a try, and I always say that I'm going to give him a proper, proper go because of his ridiculously high offensive awareness. He's actually... I've struggled against Muller any time that I've played against him, right? But if you go to 90 finishing, and if you go to uh, 85 or 86 type possession, I think it was... And then you're going to go to 90 offensive awareness. You're not worried about the acceleration and the balance. Um, and you're not really worried about his speed. Look, his speed is only going to be 60, lads. This guy is essentially a turn and a shoot player with the offensive awareness. He's a dummy runner. You're going to be letting the AI make all the runs for you and just hoping that he's picking up pockets of space, right? That's probably even a little bit too much. I would probably use him as kind of like my main kind of link up man as an SS. It's a very, very difficult SS position to play as a dummy runner. It's not recommended unless you really know the game and you play a lot of possession, right? So that is one thing I would say about that. All right, so let's move on to the Bayern Munich left and right back, right? So we've got Davies here and Maserai there as well. Uh, the two of them boys that you'll see in a second. And again, they're kind of yin and yang, right? Davies is all about speed, acceleration, and attacking. You know what you're getting. It's similar to what I said about Balde. Davies is an absolute machine, lads. You've got serious pace with him. You've got, you know, pace to burn, really. You've also got the speed and the stamina to burn. Defensively, you can get him into the 80s for tackling. And of course, the dribbling is going to be quite good. The passing is going to be a bit of a weak one, but he does have excellent player skills that do overcompensate for that. We also have his um, alternative, which is the right back for Bayern, and he's going to be a more defensive option, right? So he's down as a fullback finisher. He can go to 90 with aggression. He's still got the engine on him. He's still got the dexterity. This is just a rough guide. Uh, he doesn't train up as well, but the two of them are quite solid, I would say, um, which we'll have a look here. I keep forgetting to change the screen. So that is the build for him, and that is the build for Davies. So you can pause the video there if you want, lads. Casemiro is one of my favorite DMFs in the game, right? And there's a lot to say about Casemiro, but all you need to know about him is that once you go to kind of 90 with the 97 aggression, 
that is where I would kind of cap it off, right? And go to maybe 88 with physical contact. You're never going to have speed and acceleration with Casemiro because you're essentially going to be using him as a midfield center back. Does that make sense? Probably not. But that is basically what I would recommend, right? Have the passing just at around 80. You can get away with that. Tight possession at maybe 70. Even if you go 9, you're not going to get the acceleration up into the 70s. So you could do that if you really wanted to. Um, if you wanted to go 1 into that, you could go there and have 70 acceleration, 97 aggression, 87 awareness, 80 pass, and 82 stamina with 87 physical contact. It's a very, very decent anchorman card, right? So that is just something to keep an eye on there if you wanted to go that route. And that brings us on to the rest of the flair players. So we've got Musiala, Ferran Torres, Garnacho, and Anthony, right? Anthony and Garnacho are very similar players, right? You've got acceleration, you've got dribbling, you've got speed, you've got balance, you've got player skills. Garnacho is actually not the best with the player skills. He doesn't have any of the main key ones. Anthony has a load. He's an extremely skilled player on the ball. One of the most fun players to use out wide. But I do feel because of the way the shooting is working now with the stunning shots, you're better to use a player like Messi on the wide area and cut in and shoot or Neymar or Dembele. But if you do spin these, it is quite decent as well. They're just tr traditional wingers. And then, of course, we do have Musiala, who is the pick of it, right? So Musiala is a very interesting one, right? Probably one of the best players in the game. You're not reading that wrong, lads. He has 91 tie possession straight off the rip at level 1. Insane, okay? He also has double touch. He is a super sub. He's got chop turn, soul control, long range, curler, dip and shot, first time shot, one touch pass. The works. And he's got gamesmanship as well, right? Goes 27 levels. And when we train him up here, this is the 96 rated version of him. 92 ball control, 99 tie possession, 87 balance, 92 dribbling, right? The dribbling at that is probably a little bit too spicy. So I would probably cap it at six. The shooting, if you don't shoot, you can actually take that completely away, right? Don't worry about the overall. You can take that completely away, right? And I would probably pop that up into dexterity so that he can make a few more passes um, into those lanes. And then, of course, you can pop two more onto it there if you want to. You're going to have 89 balance and you're also going to have 94 acceleration with 80 offensive awareness. An insane player. Ferran Torres, to round us off, he is going to be able to play in a multitude of positions, but I do still feel that he's missing a couple of key uh, stats. Yes, he's going to have pace. Yes, he's going to have dribbling. You can get 90 with the dribbling. You can get 90 with the acceleration. You can get, you know, 90 with the speed. Um, he's a good card and he's able to shoot, but I definitely think that there's a lot of wingers out there that you can actually sign, right? So without further ado, we're actually going to go in and we're going to spin. It's only taken 12 minutes to get to here, but we are going to spin um and hopefully get maybe one of the top guys this is my road to glory account so hopefully we get one of the top boys musiala maybe casemiro um and see where we go so let's see we're into the english league lads it is a five star to kick us off it could be casa it is casemiro as well oh it's wanda saka my ultimate right back that i wanted for this road to glory i salute you i salute you uh, awb that's a big pull lads that is a very 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 nice one to kick us off we have our Manchester United right back. We will max him out in the next stream that we do on this account. This is my secondary account. And we've got four spins, three down, three to go with this one included. So hopefully we get one of the top guys. Musiala would be a beast. We're into Liga Española. And that is going to be Balde, I would say. Or Ter Stegen, it is Ter Stegen in Barcelona. That's fine. We'll skip on that. So that is our goalkeeper and our right back. Hopefully we can get a flair player now as well. Even though I've got a fairly good squad, lads. These are all free. So we might as well spin for them and see who we get. And round this video off at about 14, 15 minutes. So hope you stayed with us. And we've got all the training guys, all the, all the stuff. If you are struggling, lads, definitely try a couple of those builds. And if you're still struggling, let me know. So we do get Musi. Yalla! It's Tell. I thought it was Musa. I thought it was Musi Musi. I got Tell on my other account as well, so maybe that's a sign that I need to play him because he is a beast and we know how good he is in the stat balancing as well um, when that eventually does come in with the filtration system or the filters. Filtration, filtration system sounds like water. Um, all right, who are we getting? Who are we getting? Who are we getting to round this off at a 15-minute video? Let's see who we're getting. We're into the English League. Is it Casemiro? It's a five-star. That doesn't tell us much. Is it Anthony? It's Garnacho. So we've not got the best players in the pack, but we do actually get some fairly decent players that we can build around. So that is it for me. I will be back later on. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's slightly longer, 
But hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in a minute. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. Any questions, get them below.